All right, we finally are leaving for Rocky Raccoon. We're taking my dad's van. He's been wanting me to take his van for a while because he has been van lifing his van and now we're finally taking it just to make him happy. It actually would have been, I think, a little bit better if we put all this crap inside of my truck. A little bit more better, but this is going to work uh, once we get everything out and settled at the campsite. So right now we're heading over to Huntsville State Park. Should take about two hours. We got Willie here, we got Anna over here, and we got me. So let's go. All right. So on the road now, still got another hour and five minutes to go until we hit Huntsville State Park. So the people that are going to be crewing me is going to be Anna, she's behind the camera right now. She's going to be my pacer for my last 12 miles. And then I have my friend Drew, uh, he actually did that 5k a long time ago and he paced a little bit during our Brazos event. So he's going to be out there along with his three kids and we're going to go camping. Uh, tonight and then tomorrow uh, I think the kids are gonna leave but Drew's gonna stay so they're gonna be my crew me and Willie's crew basically uh, and Drew may pace Willie depending on how he feels but yeah it's heading over there another hour and four minutes to go until we get over there to Huntsville State Park to do Rocky Raccoon 100k All right, so we're almost here at Huntsville State Park after a couple hours in this van life van. Uh, about to exit just a little bit and uh, see Drew. Drew's already over there. Probably set up his camp and has his kids restless and everything. So, almost there. All right, made it here to Huntsville State Park. This is the van. This is the van life that we're doing today. Chrissy and my dad. But, uh, we have to uh, check in for our our uh, camping, get some firewood, and uh, yeah. Okay. That, might, that might not be enough firewood. We got some firewood checked in. Drew's already on there, so we're gonna load the firewood. We'll probably need some more because it's already cold. <laughs> so, got the firewood. Now we're gonna head over to the campsite and go over there. And here to the campsite. All the kiddos are here. Drew's here too. It's cold here. So I got Drew the Very biggest long. tarp in the world. Pretty much done with the tent. Nice little pop-up tent that we got. So just have to get some stakes and then put the uh, rain fly on. And then we have to go all the way over there, which is the start line, but we have to drive there because there's no bridge. All right, so we got the tent set up. Drew actually got his tent set up pretty fast. Let's just let's go check out the mansion over here. This is Drew's tent. He got it. He paid 440 bucks. Excuse me. He paid 100 bucks on this on Facebook Marketplace. Two room mansion. One here. This is where the kiddos will be sleeping. And then we got the master bedroom over right here. That's where the power cord. So this is Drew's room. Pretty big tent. tent. This is a 10 person tent. That's if you're not doing what we're doing. We're For all you people out there with kids, you need the divider. <laughs> It's not gonna protect you from sound. And you can stand straight up here. This is like seven feet. Yeah. Must be. All right, so let's go to uh, my tent that I got. This is the, a new tent that we got. So this is a six person tent. Got a little patio area. And when you go inside, it's dark room technology. So super dark up in here. We do, of course, have some LED lighting. Yeah. Drew's mansion does not have LED lighting, but this is our spot. <sighs> So we finally got everything set up and now we're gonna go set up our uh, our other tent over at the start line. We're gonna, the canopy, we're gonna set up the canopy over there and then go to the race meeting. Where are now. we going? All right, now we're heading to the start line. Good question, Ian. We're heading to the start line to uh, set up our canopy and do all that fun stuff. That dude's carrying all his logs. They got a lot of logs. Yeah, we're getting more, I'm telling you. 
They got a lot of locks. It will, be... it will not take long to go through 10. Feet. What's the temperature supposed to be tonight? Do you know, Drew? Minus. <laughs> I got 10 long. I think it's supposed to feel like 20s. Give my phone a We're in Fahrenheit over here, Drew. We're in Fahrenheit. That's, that's confusing me. Let's see. I'm going to go look. Low of 28 is my guess. Huntsville, 32. Low of tonight, it's supposed to get to 27. No, 25. Wow. 25 at 5 a.m. So. I'm ready. It's going to get cold right? tonight. That's got our canopy set up. Now we're going to go. Pack, pick up our packet and uh, hopefully get the meeting because that's what we're doing. It's not that cold. Is that, are you guys cold? Nope. Not too cold. It is cold, but it's not like freezing cold. Hey, go through runs, right? Yeah, that's right. Hey, you're doing the 100K uh, challenge with Big Bear? <laughs> that's right. Check out the long line. So it starts from that's right the over there all the way. You guys can see it. All the way over there. So. About like uh, 100 people yeah, you never know. Maybe, <laughs> waiting for the line. So right now, Willie and uh, Drew are talking about uh, his son who is uh, 13? 13. 13. 12. 12. 12, 12 that's right. 12 <laughs> uh, is going to want to pace Willie for his uh, the last 12 miles of his 100K. So we're wondering, you think a 12-year-old can be responsible enough to pace somebody for the hardest part of the race and not complain because you need somebody who's gonna really push you and he's pretty mature i would say for a 12 year old right pretty mature for a 12 year old i don't yeah. think he's mature yeah i think yeah i think he understands the, what he, in detail i think as long as we explain what is the expected from him tonight i think we'll be okay okay you know i mean over dinner <laughs> you, as long as you buy him a soda yeah if you buy him a soda, <laughs> yeah i'll buy him a soda after the pacer we do have to talk about one thing. You guys see the uh, ultra beer that I've been growing? I don't do. Drew's got an ultra beer too? Yeah, he usually has a uh, goatee. I don't because, you know, this space. So last time at J&J, &J, <laughs> I, I was clean shaven and I think that really uh, affected my, my race. Uh, this year, you know, Asians don't grow beers that well, but this is pretty good, so. Neither do white people. <laughs> There's a hole here. Yeah. I got a lot of holes. I was going to do a little, uh, the beard is going to predict my race. So if you see right here, it starts off pretty good, but in the middle, it's a little holy. So it's going to get a little difficult. So you're in the middle, in the, hole is what he's saying. the middle is pretty good. So it's going to be smooth sailing to the end. So get, that's what we're going to do. Now, what's, uh, your, what's your goal? I'm shooting for between 18 and 19 hours. My last hundred was obviously Leadville. Uh -huh. A lot of mountains. We're sitting above 10,000 feet. Yeah. So I think I can go a lot faster than this one. I think so. What are you shooting for? At about 18, 19 also for my 100K. Okay. So it's going to be interesting. Well, Jordan's doing the 100K too. He's doing the 100K? Jo Jordan's doing the 100K. Ah, yeah. I, I know all these phases. Yep. <laughs> we, rolled, so cool. we rolled deep. I know. I was like, if I see Nick, he's going to have a whole crew with him. Yep. Are y'all going to fly, fly my, a drone? my bodyguard right here. <laughs> Are y'all flying a drone? Can y'all fly a drone here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Man. Good luck tomorrow. Hey, good luck, oh, man. Me, oh, I think I got, a, I got a video. Let me get a picture. Absolutely. I saw Nick Bear, and uh, he actually knew I challenged him, which is kind of crazy. But cool guy. Uh, he's he, his, he told me his plan is to do 18 to 19 hours for his 100 miler. And uh, I know he's a really fast guy, so... Who knows what he could do? He thinks that this is a pretty flat course. It's not super flat, but probably flatter than Leadville. But we'll see who does. Who wins? Who wins? Goku or Nick Bear? Who you got? I got me. Who you got? Here. I'll go with you too. Uh, Nick Bear, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know my brother. <laughs> what an ass. All right, we're still gonna go pick up my pack in a little bit. All right, so this is stuff I got. I got my shirt, Hoka One 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 Hundred. Got my uh, bib, four ninety six, and then my pacer bib. Anna's gonna be wearing that. She's the one in the camera right now. So excited, getting ready to beat Nick Bear. <laughs> and also finish the race. I, I really don't care about beating Nick Bear. I just want to do this race, finish it. This will be my first hundred K finish if I do it. Let's go.
traveling in Ukraine to remain on the fly resources. Uh, that was Chris, he's the race director, and basically I was there, to, I wanted him to say welcome to Rocky Raccoon, but he wasn't saying it, and it's freaking cold, it's like 20 degrees right now. But right now we're heading over to Huntsville proper, to the city, and we're going to find something to eat, because we are all pretty hungry, and then we're going to go back to the campsite, and try to stay warm in the tent. All right. Elijah's gonna be really got good. here. He finds out we went to Olive Garden. And we're going to the OG. His favorite restaurant. Olive Garden. So unlimited breadsticks, unlimited salad. That's what we're gonna get. That's right, we are eating at Olive Garden. Everybody's here. Got some uh, breadsticks and get some pasta. Getting ready to eat. All I can eat. Willie, are you ready for tomorrow? Not really. I signed up like last minute when they opened up, you know, new spot. So I'm just hoping to do bread? decent up to finish. Oh yeah, we have like a little side bit. So my other second goal, not only just to finish, but to beat Jeremy. And I kind of gave him like an hour handicap. So if I beat him, you know, with that hour handicap, then 20 bucks. Yep. So I have. Two bets. Well, not two bets. One bet with Willie, and I have one challenge versus Nick Bear. So I have to get about 18 to 19 hours to beat Nick Bear, and then I have to beat Willie by one hour. So hopefully this pasta is going to help. I'm, I actually got uh, lasagna. All right, just finished our meal. Now we're going to head back to uh, the campsite and try to stay warm. Probably do a little bit of a campfire, but that's going to be it for tonight. It's about 7:51, so Anna's super sleepy. Super sleepy. <laughs> Made it back to uh, the camp right here. See our tent. I'm gonna attempt to start this heater we have. Pretty scary. Did you turn it off? We got it on. It's on. Woo. Fire. Good. S'mores. No yeah, s'mores. Okay. Willie is What's eating Carolina. bamboozle. Spicy bamboozle. Carolina Reaper. Carolina Number Reaper. five. So it's 941 now and ready for bed. It's pretty cold. We do have a heater over here. So that should keep us warmer than other people out without the heater, but it's still pretty cold regardless. Um, got everything ready, put everything over, over there. You guys can't see it, but laid out all my stuff and uh, ready to go tomorrow, 100K. It's gonna be a challenge, but I think I'm ready for it. Got a long time, 29 hours. If, if the only thing that's gonna stop me from completing it is me, so I'm gonna do it. 100K, doesn't matter if I beat anybody as long as I finish. That's gonna be it. See you guys tomorrow.